It just sounds so painful. I, know. <laughs> like... I mean, yeah, when you've got 100 degrees and, and the humidity down, yes. down in the south and, and in Texas, just, just brutal. Yeah. Aren't we lucky? Yeah. We are. And I just thought I would show a more calm and cooling picture nice. <laughs> to help right. us realize that we have it pretty good over here right now. Not what we had a couple of years ago, but definitely what we are having this week. This is obviously a very cloudy coast. Drizzles this morning and expecting it again tomorrow. And then here we are looking up in Vancouver at that Mary Hill Winery Tasting Room and Bistro where you can see it's pretty clear. There are a couple of clouds, but it's really not very much. So in case you can't see them, I'll point them out. They're right there. See, just a few little clouds right there, and that's all we have on this camera. That's not the case across the region. As you can see, we have quite a bit of thunderstorm activity. This is what we were looking at a moment ago on the other side of the Cascades. Quite a bit of activity up here. You can see it's starting to clear up, but look at all of this that came in just a few hours within the last few hours. And then down when you move into central Oregon, there was quite a bit of activity just off to the, you can see, look at that northwest of the Bend area, and then quite a bit of activity south of La Pine. This is all going to happen again tomorrow, but it's just a little farther to the east of the region and not as much as what we've seen today more central. That'll be a bit more calm for tomorrow. And here's where we can see that. A few clouds along the coast. This is going to be a wash, rinse, repeat this week. Clouds in the morning, pretty cloudy tomorrow. In fact, these are probably our cloudiest morning. And then those back off. You may see a few sun breaks at the coast. And then we continue to see that activity off to the east, but it's really going to be farther east. You can see out that direction, not as much in central. And then each night, those clouds back off a bit, not as cloudy, and then you get to the next morning and those clouds fill back in. That takes us all the way through Thursday. It's not until we get to Friday that we do actually see a change in the cloud cover because some higher pressure starting to build in. But for right now, we're sitting in that trough and some weak low pressure upper systems for us. Here's where your temperature range should be for tonight in the Portland metro area, and this is at and below average by just a few degrees. For tomorrow morning, if you're headed out, we are going to have those areas of clouds, like I mentioned, and then drizzle again along the coast. Some showers, drippy day, just like we had today. But when you look at the day as a whole in the Portland metro area, you'll notice that by the time we get to noon, things are clearing up and that it ends up being just like today, upper 70s to low 80s. That's the coolest of the days that we have that you're looking at right here. As things do start to warm up for us once we hit Wednesday. What we're seeing here is that trough just starts to finally move out as we get into Wednesday, so we still have that chance for morning clouds, a little impact of that through Friday with some northwest flow, but then once that high pressure starts building in and we begin to see that really impact us by we get to Friday, then we start to see some temperatures rising, and you can see as we go into the weekend, our skies will be clear and will be very warm on Saturday. By Sunday, we have a potential potential to see those temperatures upper 80s to low 90s and then have those really hot afternoons potentially in the low 90s with no cloud cover at all. Overnight that means hot starts at the day, I mean hot starts in the afternoon, I mean hot starts in the day, which gives our daytime temperatures the hot overnight, pretty warm in the mornings above average all week.